Hello, welcome. Yes, it's Kika Losorisede. Now, you've got lots of things to do today. What are you starting That's off right. with? That's right. I'm going to start with a very traditional Greek recipe, a very sophisticated recipe, actually. Mm. Anginar, anin me anginares avgolemono, which oh, right. is the Finnish meal here. Lamb with, with artichokes and... In egg and lemon sauce. Egg and lemon yeah. sauce. Yeah. Wow, a lovely terrific. meal. And, and there's that film that you made in Corfu with Rosemary Barron, yeah. the author of The Flavours of Greece. That's right. Where she indulged in some very interesting gastronomic archaeology and came up with a fascinating recipe. That's right. A very unusual recipe. Yes, uh, yes. Cochettes with cinnamon. Now, cinnamon. have you heard of anything No, like I'm this used before? to cinnamon <laughs> being used in sweet dishes and, of course, as you taught me now, in moussaka. In moussaka, yes. But yes. I've never heard it used with yeah. Well, the Greeks love cinnamon. Yeah. They do, yeah. and they do use uh, cinnamon in making syrups so for, to go on top of paklavas and right. galado burrico. Yeah. But they also use the ground cinnamon to, to create a, a lot of lovely dishes. Well, let's yeah. see how Rosemary used it. Well, it's too hot to cook inside, so we may as well use this opportunity and use this good weather to cook outside. Um, you could also serve it as a side dish to meat, to grilled meat, plain meat or grilled mm. fish. Or with some lovely mountain cheese and some bread, it's a wonderful dish, just mm. served as a main course, mm. as a veg veg vegetable main well, course. Well, it's the first time I see this dish. <laughs> what did well, you I find this recipe? Uh, it's a recipe of the past that um, passed when, through. <laughs> well, I've s when one inquires into the recipes of the past, it's uh, there. Very different. So, please, if you could pass me up the serving a dish. Yeah. And because the olive oil is an integral part of this dish, because I haven't let it overheat and I haven't let it change its texture or flavour. We're going to put as much olive oil as we want to on the plate, but I'll probably leave it at that. But mm. we can choose. Now we make it look good. Let's put it down and make it look good. And all we need uh, then to do is add some parsley. Well, I must taste some of this because I haven't come across this milk before. Who would have thought? Cochettes and cinema. Very different. Flavors of the past, I think. Now that was fascinating. What what a what an array of flavours. The cinnamon oh, yeah. and then those raisins soaked in vinegar. Soaked in vinegar. That was very unusual. Wasn't and the it? olive oil, yes, of course. Yes. Very unusual very dish. Unusual. I was trying to tell him. Lula, I am gonna leave you to get on with your okay, lamb and artichokes. Yes. See yes. You later. I'll see you later. Great. With a glass of wine, I hope. Quite possible. See you. Okay, we better get on with the recipe. Now, this is a quite an easy recipe, like with all my recipes, they're very easily made. Uh, well, we're going to start with two ounces of butter. Uh, this meal is you, this meal is really good with butter, but of course I've got to add a little bit of olive oil. It stops my butter for bread, for, from burning. And now I'm going to add some leg of lamb chopped into small pieces like that. Now we've got about two pounds of leg of lamb there. Find a spoon. Right. Now we need to cook this very, very fast. We don't want to brown the meat, we just want to seal the meat because we're looking for a nice white sauce. We're not looking for a dark sauce. That's why we have to be very, very fast. Now I don't know if you can see that, but my meat is nearly ready. Right. The next thing I have to do is to add some spring onions not finely chopped, just chop them into big pieces like that. Now you need about a bunch of spring onions. Don't forget to wash them first and then cut them like that. Add those. Now this will make the, give the uh, lamb a lovely flavour and a, a delicate flavour. Right, we need to only cook it for a couple of minutes. Everything has to be fast here. 
The next thing I have to do is to season it, of course, with lots of freshly ground black pepper. You must realize now I love freshly ground black pepper in everything. And, of course, some salt. Now, I don't know how much to use, just use a bit to start with, taste it and see if it needs more seasoning. Now, I want to thicken this a little bit, so I'm going to add a little bit of uh, plain flour. Well, about a tablespoon of plain flour. And that will thicken the sauce and also uh, make a lovely white sauce. Give it a lovely colour. Right. Mix it well to brown your flour a little bit. Now, the only thing I need to do now is to cover my meat with warm water. Now, I can't tell you how much because it depends what size is your saucepan. Now, you only need to just cover the meat. Mix it, bring it to the boil, and once it starts to boil, cover it and simmer it for at least 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, we add the rest of the ingredients, which I'll show you later. Hi, Chuck. Oh, you are Do you, you do are need any good... wine in the dish? No, unfortunately, but I do. Oh, you need some so, wine in the lula. Thanks for bringing <laughs> this up. <laughs> Where is your glass? Um, well, I thought, I thought, I was just coming at you for purely culinary purposes. Oh, all right. right. <laughs> <coughs> anyway. Well, thank you. Okay, it's time for a quick break now. Lula's back to put the finishing touches to today's recipe, and I'll be bringing wine. Don't yes. go away. See you.